Tiger vs Komodo Dragon Who would win a fight between these two apex predators? Komodo dragons and tigers can both be found in Asia. Both are known as ferocious predators, even for humans. But when these two wonderful animals meet, who do you think would be victorious in a confrontation? The tiger is one of the world's most recognizable animals, intimately connected with strength and untamed nature. Tigers inspire millions of people around the world, from Bhutanese monasteries to Milanese catwalks. They are a symbol of nature's wild places, significant in almost all civilizations, faiths and folktales. The Komodo dragon is the world's largest living reptile. The dragon is a monitor lizard belonging to the Varanidae family. This living fossil does not fly or breathe fire, despite its appearance as a tiny version of the mythological dragon seen in the movies. It does, however, have certain frightening characteristics, including as venomous fangs, speed, and armored skin. Size and Description Tigers are the largest living big cat species. Bengal and Siberian tigers are the two largest subspecies. These cats can stand as tall as 4 feet at the shoulder, 1.21 meters, and weigh over 800 pounds, 362 kilograms in the wild. And even more in zoos. They have thick fur that is a burnished orange with vertical black stripes and varies in color. Their bellies, chests, and parts of their faces are white with black stripes. The fur around the neck and chest is thick, but it does not grow to the length of a lion's mane. The tiger is one of the world's most revered animals, thanks to its beautiful striped coat and fierce, mesmerizing gaze. It's a reverence that's mixed with a bit of fear an appropriate reaction to a large, well-muscled, swift hunter with 1 to 2 inch long canine teeth, 2.5 to 5 centimeters, and 3 to 4 inch long claws, 7.6 to 10.1 centimeters. The average weight of a Komodo dragon is around 154 pounds, 70 kilograms. Although the largest known specimen was 10.3 feet, 3.13 meters, and weighed 366 pounds, 166 kilograms. Males grow larger and heavier than females. With long, thick bodies, short, muscular legs, and a massive tail, they are incredibly powerful. Their tail is used for both fighting and for propping the animal up when it is standing on its hind legs. The Komodo dragon has long, sharp, curved claws that are usually used for digging. Small scales and folds cover the grayish-brown skin around the neck. Komodo dragons have small heads in comparison to their huge bodies, with broad, muscular jaws that conceal a mouth filled with deadly bacteria and sharp teeth. Although Komodo dragons have good eyesight, they mainly rely on their forked tongue to smell their environments. Range and Habitat Tigers have lost 93% of their historic range in Asia. Nowadays, small pockets of tigers can be found in India, Russia, Bangladesh, North Korea, Bhutan, Indonesia, Nepal, Malaysia, Myanmar, China, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and Sumatra. In these areas, tiger populations are highly fragmented. Tigers like habitats that are close to a water source, have a lot of vegetation for cover while hunting, and plenty of prey. They also prefer to live in environments that provide suitable den locations, such as caves, hollow trees, or dense bushes. Evergreen, marsh, mangrove, deciduous, thorn, and tiger forests all have different subspecies. They will also explore rocky mountain habitats, as well as savannas and grasslands, on occasion. Komodo dragons live on only five islands in southeastern Indonesia. 
Indonesia's four islands within Komodo National Park, and the island of Flores. The islands are volcanic in origin, rugged and hilly, and covered with both forest and savanna grassland. Komodo dragons have the smallest home range of any large predator in the world. They enjoy the heat, with daytime temperatures in the dry season reaching 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees Celsius, and 70% humidity. The lizard can live in a variety of environments, including tropical dry forests, savannas, and deciduous monsoon forests. Food Habits Tigers consume a wide range of prey, from termites to elephant calves. However, an integral component of their diet are large-bodied prey weighing about 20 kilograms, 45 pounds, or larger, such as moose, deer species, pigs, cows, horses, buffaloes, and goats. Occasionally, they may consume tapirs, elephant and rhinoceros calves, bear species, leopards, and Asiatic wild dogs. When hunting prey, tigers rely mostly on their senses of sight and hearing, rather than their sense of smell. They cautiously stalk their prey from behind, attempting to get as close to their unsuspecting prey as possible. Then, with a forceful bite to the neck or throat, they try to take down their target. Komodo dragons eat almost any type of meat, scavenging carcasses or hunting animals as small as mice to as huge as water buffalo. Small lizards and insects, as well as snakes and birds, are the main sources of food for the young. These reptiles are tertiary predators at the top of their food chain and are also cannibalistic. Despite its ability to achieve speeds of 10 to 13 miles per hour, 16 to 20 kilometers per hour, the Komodo dragon's hunting style is based on stealth and force. Before attacking, it can stay in one position along a game trail for hours, waiting for a deer or other large and nutritious prey to cross its path. Most of the monitor's attempts at bringing down prey are unsuccessful. However, if it is able to bite its prey, bacteria and venom in its saliva will kill the prey within a few days. After the animal dies, which can take up to four days, the Komodo uses its powerful sense of smell to locate the body. A kill is often shared between many Komodo dragons. Behavior Except during mating season and when females give birth, tigers are solitary creatures. They like to spend most of their time alone, exploring their vast territory in search of food. They are territorial, leaving scratch marks on trees to mark their area. They have excellent swimming abilities and frequently bathe in ponds, lakes, and rivers to keep cool throughout the day. They may even kill prey while swimming. Tigers use facial expressions and vocalizations to communicate. The defense threat is the most common facial expression, where an individual bares its teeth, flattens its ears, and its pupils enlarge. Tigers roar like other members of their family, especially in aggressive situations during mating season or after a kill is made. The majority of the time, Komodo dragons are active during the day, but they have been observed to be active at night. They're solitary creatures who only meet to reproduce and eat. With their sharp claws, young Komodo dragons can easily climb trees. Komodo dragons are able to conserve body heat by resting in their burrows, reducing their need to bask in the mornings. They typically hunt in the afternoons and stay in shaded areas during the hottest parts of the day. Now, in a fight between a tiger and a Komodo dragon, who would win? Both animals can be found in Indonesia, although they are not found on the same islands. Every fight in the animal kingdom comes down to a handful of factors, such as the combatant's size, speed, and ferocity. Tigers are bigger than Komodos, much bigger. 
Even if we take the case of the largest Komodo dragon ever recorded, it weighed less than half the weight of a tiger. So even though the Komodo dragons are powerful animals, in terms of size, it is clear that tigers are superior. We all know that in terms of speed and agility, no one can compare to big cats. So here too, the tiger has the advantage. Komodo dragons have a slight edge in terms of their sensory abilities. Although it seems that the Komodo dragon's armor gives him a great advantage by making him invincible, this is not true, at least with a tiger-sized opponent. Komodo dragons have formidable fighting abilities. They ambush their prey, trying to knock them off their feet before biting them in the neck or other vital areas. Their teeth are serrated and sharp, and they can cause serious injuries to whatever they bite. Komodo dragons have a unique sort of venom, one that is argued about by scientists. The venom, which is secreted with their saliva, seems to have anticoagulant properties and can irritate the flesh where it is applied. Tigers are great ambush predators, and their attacks are much more simple. If a dragon could bite the tiger, the tiger may die, but the venom takes about three to four days to take action and weakens the prey until finally killing it. The tiger, on the other hand, is the world's most vicious and ferocious apex predator. They are so much faster and smarter than a dragon that I don't think the dragon would have a chance unless it snuck up on the tiger. Tigers also fight on their hind legs, making it much more difficult for the heavy, bulky dragon to bite. I believe the tiger has a clear advantage as it is stronger, faster, and can avoid a Komodo dragon's bite. Once the tiger has caught the Komodo off guard, it can pounce on its back and deliver a bite to the neck or head, possibly crushing its skull with the Komodo dragon helpless. So even if the Komodo dragon manages to bite the tiger, it will not escape alive. There is a one out of 10 chance that both will die, a 9 out of 10 chances that the tiger will finish this, eating the Komodo dragon. So the tiger wins. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.